my name is Jason King. I am the Applications and Field Service Specialist with Amitech Drexelbrook. Today we are going to be going over identifying and wiring integral and remote U4 systems. The first is an integral. That is where the electronics are attached to the sensor themselves. It comes in one piece. The second style would be remote, where the probe and electronics are separate and connected by this interconnect cable. On the integral system, you have a sales order number on this side and a serial number for the electronic housing on this side. The serial number is located on the top. It is a three letter followed by a six numeric digit number. There is also a probe tag on every probe that has a serial number somewhere on the bottom. Again, that is three letters and six numeric digits. Wiring an integral is you running your four to 20 into the housing and then attaching them on the positive and negative side uh, all the internal wiring is done at the factory. For wiring a remote, you will take your interconnect cable and land the probe, shield, and ground on the sensor board in the electronic housing. Once that's done, you can reinstall your module and then you can wire the sensor itself. There are two types of sensor, a two terminal and a three terminal. The three terminal has a shield, two terminal does not have a shield. To wire a two terminal, you take the interconnect cable, insert it into the housing, the blue heat shrunk end will go on to your probe, which will be the blue screw, and then the green ground, which will also be heat shrunk with a piece of green heat shrink, will be wired into the conduit. Now with your shield wire, this can either be clipped off or taped onto the cable itself as long as it doesn't short against the blue screw or the conduit, the green wire, this basically needs to be isolated. Wiring a three terminal system is very similar to wiring the two terminal system. Blue will go onto your blue screw, green will go onto your ground, but the shield wire will go onto your tab with the red screw. Wiring the spark protector, the silver tab will go under the blue screw. Tighten that down. You'll raise the green screw in the conduit and then put your first ground wire underneath. Then you'll take your interconnect cable, run it into the housing. Green will go underground. Just like that. We can move these wires out of our way so that we can get our center underneath the blue screw. And on a two terminal probe, you can clip off your red shield wire or tape it so that it doesn't short out with the center or your ground. Now we're going to wire a spark protector into our three terminal probe. So again, blue gets the tab from the spark protector. Make sure that this tab is not touching your shield tab. Those cannot be shorted out. We're gonna take our green wire from the spark protector and go under the green screw in our condolet. We're gonna take our interconnect cable and install that into our condolet as well.
So your blue wire goes underneath your blue screw. Your red wire goes on to the red screw on the, the shield tab. And then both of your green wires are going to go under the green ground screw in the condolet. And that is wiring a three terminal probe with the spark protector. Wiring the remote conduit, insert the interconnect cable. Your blue wire is going to go onto the first terminal labeled PROBE probe. That goes under there and we can close that down. The second position is labeled SHLD for shield. That is your red wire. Red wire will go under that second position. You can tuck your excess cable down the neck of the condolet. And then green is in your last position underground, GND. And that is wiring a remote system. You then put your electronic module back into the conduit. And you're gonna screw these down. We don't wanna to go too tight. We treat it like lug nuts. You start the one, start the other, finish the first. And once it's snug, give it about a quarter of a turn. And then we're gonna finish up the second one. Again, once it's snug, give it about a quarter of a turn, and that's it. You don't wanna over torque these, you can break the display or the board underneath. Before calling tech support, please have some information. The sales order number on the white label, any of the serial numbers on your sensor or on your electronics, and the model number on your sensor serial number tag should start with a 700.